Hi, I am back, and I have another tutorial for you. This week, it'll be Moho Pro 12 once again. I received some questions regarding last week's tutorial on how to work with layer comps. How do you make them, and how do you edit them, and delete them, and all that good stuff. So that's what this week's video is going to cover. But before I get too far into that, I just want to give you a quick update on some things I'm doing with this channel. First, I plan to continue to do one video a week like I am right now. I'm really enjoying the process, and I love the fact that I'm receiving comments and requests, so I'm going to keep doing that. But I also want to start playing with releasing courses on this channel as well. So one to two hour playlists broken up into a few videos that dive deep into a subject like how to do a walk cycle in After Effects. I know that was one request I received. Or perhaps how to do a lip syncing sequence within Moho or Animate CC. Really, the possibilities are endless, and I want to bring that content to you guys for free so that you can enjoy working with these pieces of software more and get more out of them. So if you have any comments or suggestions regarding courses, one to two hour subjects that are going to go deeper than just one video, please leave a comment and I would love to hear your ideas. But with that said, it's now time to jump into Moho. What I want to do here first is show you the animation I'm working with. We just have a simple document here. I have some stuff already lined up, good to go. If I hit the play button, you're going to see I have some animation here. And basically what I want to do is create separate layer comps for all of this. I want to separate out my Zack character right here. You need to first isolate the element that you want to create a layer comp with. So in this case, let's focus on the Zack character once again. I'll come over here to the Layers panel, and I want to hide everything except for the assets making up Zack. I'm just going to click and hold and drag down to hide everything except for Zack, and of course, that group layer making up my assets so that we can still see Zack. But I'll also hide the car and the background. So all we have now is that character. Next, on your Layers panel, come up to the last button on the top of the panel. This one is labeled Layer Comps. And when you click this, you have a few options to choose from. We want to focus on New Layer Comp for right now. So click on that. And now you can name your comp. In the case of what we're doing here, I'm just going to label this Zack, since that's the name of the character I'm isolating. And once you're good, you can click OK. What we can do now is go back to that Layer Comps button. And then we can choose to show all of our layers. So if I come down to this option and click Show All Layers, everything will be revealed. But if I come back to that button once again and go to the Expose Layer Comp section, you can see that Zack is now listed. If I click on Zack, you're going to see that everything gets separated out. You can update layer comps as well. Let me just add one more comp here. I'm going to hide Zack and then create a new comp with the car. So I'll reveal the car come up to the Layer Comps button, choose New Layer Comp. We can just name this Car, and then click OK. Now, if I were to go to the Expose Layer Comp option, I can switch between Zack and the car. But let's say, when working with this, I realize I don't need these split up. I want to bring Zack and the car into one comp. Well. What I could do is reveal Zack so that he's visible with the car, go up to the Layer Comps button, come down to Update Layer Comp, and then choose Car. What I can do now, let's just hide all of our layers. So I'll go down to the Hide All Layers option, and then we'll expose the Car Layer Comp. You can see now the comp has been updated with Zack inside. Also, if you have multiple comps, you can use the Show Layer Comp option to add additional comps to your view. So let's say you have five comps, you expose one, but you want to see two at the same time. You can go to Show Layer Comp 
and then choose the one you want to bring in as you're working. And of course, you can also delete layer comps at the bottom as well. So if we no longer need the Zach layer comp, since it is pretty much blank now, we can just go to the Zach option and it has been deleted. And that is a little bit about layer comps in Moho Pro 12. Again, if you're looking to go with the next step where you export out the layer comps, check out last week's tutorial. And if you'd like to see more tutorials, please subscribe. As I said, I'm doing weekly tutorials as well as those courses I plan to roll out soon. And if you're looking for more content, you can always go to ctrof.com. I'm always updating that site and you can see everything I've done, including content on other services like Pluralsight. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.